three, two, one. Welcome to Potter Familias, coming to you from Fairhope, Alabama. I'm Todd Sylvester. <laughs> Why are you being so weird about this? I'm Stephen Sylvester. Ow. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, people you... used to say to me, act your age. They've been saying that to me my whole life. I, I, don't, I don't even get it. Yeah. S- they say it to me now. I don't know what that means. Neither do I. I don't like acting my age. And no, in fairness, I act. I am acting my age. I am my age, and I'm doing stuff. I'm acting my age. Right. It's like explain that better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> As anyway. a criticism, but, um, but yeah. When you were growing up, what were some of your favorite foods? Oh my gosh, uh, completely different than than now. I, okay. I, 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 but I think the palate should develop. I think it'd be weird if you were like, dude, I just dream about Fruit Loops now. Like, that's all I ever dinosaur want. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. <laughs> um, I, uh, which I actually loved Woo! when I was a kid. They were great. Um, you ate a lot of them. I sure did. And French fries, of course. I mean, I loved fries. Yeah. I loved, uh, I thought pigs in the blanket were the height of culture. Well, because they're classy. Well, they're, yeah. at, they're at parties. It's like a hot dog, but fancy. Oh, yeah. And also breakfast. <laughs> you know? Because of the croissant. <laughs> croissant. I don't know. It's French. I thought it was great. Ah, pigs in the blanket. Every time I had, I got to get pigs in the blanket. I have the, all these vivid memories of like, I, you know how in little kids, in little kid words, you're, you, like you're having adult thoughts or you're just like, ah, oh, yes, we get to have these today. Yes. I'll put on a tie. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know. I felt I felt so cultured as a kid eating pigs in a blanket. And I didn't even really know what that meant. Right. I just knew it made me feel fancy. There you go. It is fancy. Well, what about you? What did you eat when you were a kid? When I was younger. You know, back in the 20s. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. All right. But seriously. I was younger. I, you know, I'm, I was trying to think about the oddities because mm-hmm. my mom worked she was an entrepreneur and yeah. and she ran a few companies so she was at times kind of busy so there were some meals that i had to prepare mm-hmm. when i was younger and so i was really into like spaghettios which okay. and the you know the chef boyardee raviolis i mean a lot yeah. of stuff in a can because this was before the microwave so anything in a saucepan on the on the stovetop i would have so I, I did like a lot of pasta things. And well, then when we finally got our microwave, you could cook a hot dog in 20 seconds. So that was kind of cool. That was convenient. So was hot dogs your go-to? Like, that, was that your favorite? No, I think my favorite was bagels. Hey. Coming from the Northeast. Yeah, coming from the Northeast. Dude, all right. I loved bagels can with I, cream cheese. Can I tell you that I still have dreams about English muffins? Mm. Like English muffins with the real butter. And crannies oh, my holding all the gosh. Butter. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. For a while there, and I, we're getting into what we eat now, but um, for a while there, uh, when Afton and I were first married and we weren't really, we were just like, ah, this is fun. Let's let's forget about diets and pant sizes. Who cares? Right. We, we're married. It's awesome. Uh, we used to make these breakfasts where we would take a cup and cut the middle out of a piece of toast and then fry an egg in the middle of it. Yeah. And then put avocado on it. That's it's called- the- what is it called? Eggs in a basket. Eggs in a basket. It's yeah. still my favorite breakfast. Mm-hmm. Like that with hash browns is just like I I can die right now. It God. sounds good. Like it's amazing. Yeah, it and, sounds good. But even that, for whatever reason, because of the nostalgia of doing this when I was a kid, still doesn't beat a hot English muffin for mm-hmm. me. Like just the regular ones, store bought. Yeah. I don't need anything nice. It's like that to me was the breakfast pinnacle. Yeah. I ate a lot of cereal when I was growing up. Yeah. A lot of Captain Crunch. Mm-hmm. And because it was one of those things where I could get away with eating four and or five servings <laughs> and no one would really notice. You wouldn't let us do that with all the sugary cereals. You right. remember? Yeah, I do remember. Yeah. Because I didn't want, I wanted you to be healthy. I'd have like three servings of Special K though. And I remember mom being like, you don't want the, the sweet cereal? And I was like, no, I'm good. She's like, all right, weirdo. 
Well, because <laughs> we just remembered our childhood. I right. Mean, it was a it was a lot of consumption of sugar. I have a, a lot of Twinkies in my life. I have a very intimate relationship with bread of any form. Oh, I love bread. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely love it. Yeah. But now that I'm kind of following a plant based diet, mm-hmm. I eat. I love Thai food. So I love my pad thai with tofu. Oh, yeah. And I love going and getting vegetable fajitas at, at the Mexican restaurant. That's super delicious to me. Those are, those are kind of my two go-tos. But my absolute favorite meal in the world right now is a salad, which has got a vast array of vegetables in there. Because nice. I love broccoli and I love... Mm-hmm you know, cherry tomatoes and I love onions and mushrooms and all sorts of things. And then we put a vegan burger on Oh my on gosh, top. that sounds really good. It is. Oh, well, it gets better. And then I put I put sauerkraut on top of the burger. Yo. And we use this natural sauerkraut. We're not sponsored oh, by Bubbies, but gosh. that is the bomb. That sauerkraut is incredible. We are sponsored by the Croix. And I no we're not. And then the my dressing is this kind of Italian style dressing with no sugar added. So it's really just vinegar, oil, and some spices. Love it. And I put that on there. And after I have that meal, I do have a little carb on the side. Like I'll have some chickpea chips or something on the side. Mm -hmm. And then that's when same feeling that you have after having that incredible breakfast. It's like, Lord, take me home now. Yep. Yeah, I'm yeah. done. I'm done down here. That's funny. I um I normally, well, I guess I shouldn't say normally, but several years ago, especially before I got married, I would have been like, blah, vegetables, gross, blah. Like, I I ate vegetables because I knew it was important so that I would, didn't die. Right. Uh, not because of any enjoyment whatsoever. Um, but being married to my wife has been really nice because she loves vegetables and has it's, she's been really sneaky about it too, but she's made me like vegetables. And I was like, how did you even do this? Uh, <laughs> I am the sneaky and, wife. And right now we go to this place um, called Tokyo Hibachi. And we like to get sushi there because it's cheaper than some of the other sushi places around here. Is it actually here. in Japan? No. Okay. We, we, it's physically in Fairhope. Okay. <laughs> and um, we go there and get sushi and they have this appetizer that is uh, – it's not fried. It's that that really light breading. So I guess it is technically fried, but it's not in in breadcrumbs or in typical like flour mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's that there's a name for it when you fry some tempura. That's what it's called. Tempura fried asparagus bites. Ooh. And they have Has this. Mom ever had they have these? this like s- sweet and spicy sauce, which you would probably hate. Yeah, you, but, you lost me on the sweet yeah, part. Yeah, but I love sweet and spicy, and so they have this sweet and spicy sauce. They drizzle all over it. And when they bring it out, everything is like crisp and fresh. And I don't know what magic they're doing back there, but it tastes like they just took fresh asparagus and somehow just like went abracadabra. And like it's <laughs> and now it's fried, but it still tastes like a fresh piece of asparagus. I don't know how they That's do it. Cool. But I think I could eat like three of those, like three of those appetizers by myself. That's awesome. They're so good. And I never thought that I would say that. But yeah. now that's one of my yeah, favorite things to eat is asparagus. Well, like, that's how good. about that? And I as think, long as they're fried. And I think that our <laughs> but I think that our palate should kind of change. I'm I'm one that I'm very boring with the foods that I like. Yeah. And it's still hard for mom because, I, you know, she'll be like, well, what do you want for dinner? I want what we had last night. I I will eat. Something when I've had it for lunch. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'd like that. And she's like, you can't do that. You just had that for lunch. Why not? I like it. I'm just weird. I'm just weird like that. Fair enough. You know, I um, I feel like I'm boring as well, but maybe not in the same way because I am a creature of habit. I've been ordering the same thing at Chick-fil-A for like a decade. Yeah, but I wouldn't say you're as boring because you do like to go to different places and, and oh, try different stuff. I'll try. I don't. I'll I don't try to. just about anything. Yeah. Once. And then if I like it, I'll go back and get it every time. People will frequently like, well, we'll be out to eat with you and your wife. And you say, Todd, try a bite of this. I'm like, ah, I really don't need to. Yeah, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm good. Thanks, though. I'm okay. I'm enjoying my meal and everything's good. And I respect that. That's fine. <laughs> I think it's strange. No, it's not. I, I will like, admit it. Put in the comments 
what uh, some of your favorite foods are. Have they changed over time? As you've gotten older? Yeah. Does anybody still enjoy the same stuff that they did when they were a kid? I'd be curious to know. Well, you with your English muffins. Okay, fair enough. So, me. So it is me. Something else. Something else. There might be some, some of you that are like, I'm, it's still Cinnamon Toast Crunch, man. That's my go-to. Why are they f- from Boston? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All of our listeners from Boston, let us know if you like Captain Crunch. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to Potter Familias. Appreciate y'all.